Chewbacca. Salawal, Salawal, y'all from Holla. People is like Tulsa, Oklahoma. Boys getting out here to pop something down called Babylon the Great. First things first, that's the East. Y'all first look for two. Yeah, I will. Five shelf, y'all will shop. Five shelf, y'all will die. Say, he will turn back as a father, son, the Holy Spirit. Do the honor to the cross of every great millstone. It's y'all a wall. It's your brother, let me know. It's y'all a wall. It's your brother, sister, that's listening. It's that in the face of the rule. It's y'all a wall. Man, come today talking about the day. You know, we be in the eve of Jacob's trouble. Everything's cooking up. You can see the love of many waxing cold. A lot of people get judgment. You know, I see the Jake let off on a six year old or a basketball rolling in a driveway. You know, people about to lose. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Because once everybody starts going crazy, you know, then Esau can initiate martial law. And when martial law can initiate, then comes the military. Then comes the the robot soldiers, the drones. You know, here comes the super troops, the super soldiers, you know, things of that nature. So it's about to get real, real bad. It's about to get real tight. But bus, hopefully, we don't need to get afraid about that. Hey, that's when we're going to really shine. That's the Lord is about to flex. The Lord has allowed all this to happen so he can flex his power through his men. Yeah, I'm about to shout. He's about to say, hey, the 144,000 is about to rise up, you know, be exalted. You know, if you're going to get the standard, get lifted up, you're going to see spiritual power in a big way. The Lord is going to show itself, and we are patiently waiting on that. And it ain't going to happen until what? Until the devil come down with great wrath, right? He's going to jump on that woman, you know, Yasharala. And then, like, this time it's different. Because now the woman, she didn't she got her act together. Like, she realized that, you know, she's pitiful. She realized she ain't got no power. She realized, you know, she, she can't do nothing without her man. You know, it's kind of like a woman in repentance. The nation right there, that woman represents the nation of Israel, the hopefully like the remnant. We know, like, hey, we nothing without Yahweh Shia So now this devil, like, he, he mad. He about to ravish her. We about to holler out. You know, it's like that man is near to his woman. His woman holler out, like, hey, hold up. I know, I know you ain't. You know, the Lord about to, hey, he about to put that mouthpiece in, put them gloves on. He about to, hey, rumble with Esau. Esau ain't ready. So that right there, like, puts us in a good spirit, man. Our power's about to, like, bust this devil in the mouth real quick. You know, let him know, man. He's about to get hit. Like, there ain't going to be no counter for that when he get hit, man. We got the flurry on this devil. So we need this devil to come down with great wrath. We need him to jump on us. Because, like, if that don't happen, how the salvation deliverance going to happen? How is the miracles going to be shown if that doesn't happen? So we're like, our faith, we ready for it. Like, we anticipate it. Like, yeah, come on with it, devil. I'm ready for it. So, this is Exodus 15 and 2. The Lord is my strength and soul, and he has become my salvation. He is my Yahweh, and I will pray him a habitation. My father's Yahweh, and I will exalt him. So, that's why this devil's scared right now, man. We are exalting the power of the Yahweh, which is the Lord, you know, the God of our forefathers. We're not remembering ourselves. Like, hold up, man. We're supposed to be doing the Lost Commandments. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I'm supposed to live like this. Like, now we're in our culture. And now we're doing our culture. The devil, like, hold up, man. My pocket's getting light. You know, uh, y'all struggling getting back right. Like, they not doing what I say do no more. You know, so the devil feel disrespected. Because he used to, you know, he used to telling y'all struggling what to do and y'all struggling do it. Now he got a two-thirds. He got a remnant that's not following him no more. You know, the devil prideful. So he looking like, hold up. These niggas ain't listening to me. I'm your God. What, what is y'all doing? We look like, man, you the devil, man. We don't listen to you. So now the devil, you know, he weaponry, his technology. He about to try to, you know, smack us up and make us act right, you know? And then, like, he want to put us back in hard bonded slavery. How you going to do that? It's going to be a device. The MOTB. Put that in you. It's like him branded you. It's the same. Didn't they used to brand the slaves? Yeah, we used to brand the slaves back in the day. The devil, now he's going to do that in a new age way. We're putting a, 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 a device in your body. That way he can track you, track your money. Pretty much make you a slave. Pretty much. You take that device, you're going to be on a universal basic income if you take it. And the devil, like, you belong to me. I got one to back up that precept you brought out. This is Psalms 62 and uh, 1. It says, truly my soul waited for Paul Yahweh from his, uh, it says, Salaki, let me start that over. It said, truly 
my soul waited upon your power. From him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense, and I shall not be greatly moved. Uh, moved. Ooh, I love that. That's a far precept. All right. All right. So I shall not be greatly moved, man. That's my rock and my defense, man. We about to get salvation. That's another devil man. You see, the two-thirds, they don't think there's nothing past Babylon the Greater America. They don't think there's nothing. They think what Esau got to offer is the best there is. We look like, man, and we like smacking it off the table. But the little kid that will eat that nasty food, we like, man, what the hell is that? I know what I'm promised. I'm promised the rulership. So we looking for salvation, man. The devil don't like that. That's part of getting free. He don't like that. We now we looking like we we like we don't look at Esau as he's some genius and he's great. We look at Esau like, man, you you a fool. You done devoured the earth. You done we, we recognize what you did to my people. We ain't forgot, you know. And we looking for that salvation when you high by Shah was shot. We give it our praise and glory to our power. Like the, the devil seeing that connection be reestablished. And now he's nervous. In the back of his mind, you know, the Lord loves Edomites like, what if they are? What if they are Hebrew Israelites? What if they are gonna get there? What if Yahweh does come back? And like even the leeks know that. The leeks know it. So the leeks are scared. That's why all Esau, the Edomites are scared right now. Because the top elites, and they shaking their boots right now. They're like, oh my lord. These people holler, Yahweh shot. We see a chariot activity. Everything is in play. So they all right. Make it the robot trade. I got one more. I'm going to just read down this last verse. It says, How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? According to Esau, he's imagining his uh, mischief, man. Putting that MOT, uh, MOTV in. It says, How long will you imagine mischief against a man? He it says, Ye shall be slain, all of you. As a fowling wall shall you be as a tottering fence, man. Hey man, I can be like a broken wall, man. Yeah, a tottering fist. Yeah. It's like yeah. the lean host. Hey, Esau imagined the main thing against the uh, children of uh, Yashavala, man. And it's not going to work. As long as you uh, trust and uh, believe in your how about Shemi Yashav, which is your salvation. I got to put me back you up, because uh, I could have mentioned that uh, the preacher before when he said uh, that salvation is that rock. What did you what did you Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, right? Now, this is uh, Matthew 7 and 24. And it said, therefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine and do it and do it with them, I will liken him upon uh, unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And a rock is Yahweh by Yahweh shot. And it says, and, and the rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon that, that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon the rock. All right. And that, when they're talking about that rain, and the flood came. That's pretty much uh, talk talk about Esau Edom coming in like a flood. He's gonna come in. He's gonna try to persuade us to uh, you know move move ourselves from that rock. All right. And that rock is your house while y'all was shot. You got it up. And that house, that strong house. That's the house of David. Right. That's where all the believers is at, man. The tabernacle of David. The devil is not gonna prevail against that, man. Right? That right there is, has all the power and the spirit of your house about y'all was shot. He's going to preserve that house. That's what he's going to build his kingdom off of right there. That's that remnant that he's looking for. That precious fruit. Yeah, yeah, preach that out. Yeah. This shows why we need to praise the Howard Shah and the Father. Behold, Yahweh is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. Yahweh Shah is my strength and my song. He also is my salvation. He shows that. Yahweh Shah is how we get back to the Father. Only way to receive salvation is having strength that Yahweh Shah is going to give us time to take over. I don't understand these. Y'all only Israelites, man. Only get praised to Yahweh, man. You cannot overstep Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah sacrificed himself for this, for this movie, man. This nation of Israel. He sacrificed that. He going to get the glory. He the one that really got Esau shaking in his boots, man. They know that they scared of the ghost of Yahweh Shah. The thing about who put him to death was the Romans, man. It was Esau, man. So Yahweh Shah would say, uh, who was this? God garbage from Bosra? Hey, man, the devil read that precept and get shook, man. They know what that means. And now, when they send the prophets and the nation rising up, and we get stronger to call the name of the Lord, they now know what time it is. They like, oh no, that's the hey, we the bad base. Kind of like wrestling, you know, they hide out your favorite wrestler. You know, so he make that grand entrance. 
you know what I'm saying? Whole crowd go wild, man. That's hey, you so like, no, nah, no, nah, we don't want to see that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, we hollering that man. Y'all got like, hey, you got the rest be ready, filling themselves. Y'all, you gonna have his garments on. Hey, he come with that brand, that that mighty fathership chariot. Oh man, hey, y'all shot in the Mercedes. I'm like the Stone Cold. Yeah, they gonna go crazy. Psalm 62 and eight it says, "Trust in Him." But it says, "Trust in Him at all times." He people pour out your heart before Him. Yahweh is is a refuge for us. It's a lot. Hey, Ooh, hey, this, said, this said pour out your heart before him. And that's like what the brother said. Hey, we're gonna be like, hey, I was drunk, I was drunk. <laughs> hey, he, hey, he, he gonna be worried. Yeah? He's gonna be like, damn. <laughs> hey, it's over with. He's gonna be doomed. He's gonna be looking scared, man. Y'all try to hit the scene. You know, it, it's a rap then, man. That's King, what's gonna King, rejoice. Lord, the Lord. Exactly, <laughs> man. And I, the thing is, before y'all shall get to the devil, going he gonna try to get us, man. The devil knows when y'all shall get here, there's nothing he can do. So the devil's like, okay, I'm gonna whoop up on this woman before he get here. You know, I'm gonna get my licks in. Hopefully, I get her. You know, so that's why the Lord got to give us that spiritual power to preserve us, so we can see the out shot. You know, the devil gonna open up, man. First, he gonna do a blackout. You know, AMP strike, whether you know it's foreign or domestic, it don't matter. And he's gonna do a blackout. That's gonna cause chaos. You know, a lot of people gonna go crazy. They don't know what's going on. You know, a lot of people gonna get judgment. You're gonna need the Lord's power right there, man. You're gonna need divine intervention on that right there to protect us from the people, you know, that's on the streets. They're gonna be like, like man, we talking to uh that brought uh older out here, rat. You know, you fire up a generator, and if I got no lights, you got lights going on, that's gonna make you a target, you know. You ain't got the power. The Lord with you, man. They gonna come in. They gonna just give you swift judgment, man, and take your little stuff and rage real quick. So we gonna need that the divine protection, man. We gonna need the Lord to fight on our behalf. So we gonna bring this out right here. This is Exodus fifteen and three. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is His name. You hear that? The Lord is a man of war. He ain't no salt. Uh, love everybody with that sweet baby Jesus yeah, thing, yeah. man. The Lord is not that. That's a big misrepresentation right there. Lord no soft dude that love everybody we just ran right there the lord is a man of war means he'll war you man the lord about to come with that great sword he about to lay it down it's gonna be mass judgment if the lord started to come you know upon the earth again you know and when he get here it's really gonna be mass judgment it's gonna be sorting them out the heathen don't want to do lost commandments hey off with your head man ain't gonna be no if and buts about that you know hey the saints gonna be putting in war when the devil gets ready to jump on the nation of israel you have my shelf, I got 144,000 saints, men, 12,000 for each trial. They're going to be a spiritual power and do the works of your child even greater. Those are your saviors. According to you know, it's that Obadiah is going to come down from Mount Zion to judge Mount Esau. Man, when them saints go marching in, hey, that's not going to be nothing pretty, man. The best thing I get you close to seeing that is like go watch the movie with the rock, Black Adam. You're going to have like 144,000 of those. You know, go watch that, that man of steel with that. That one dude in, what's that, Henry Cavill? However you say his name. Watch that Man of Steel, man. All your little, uh, what's that, the Avenger movies, uh, Dragon Ball Z cartoons. That's not no made-up stuff, man. It's going to be real. Oh, boy. Yeah, Jedi. the Jedi. Yeah, yeah that, that's based off the 144,000. Use yeah, the telekinesis. Huh? Jimmy Tocco. Exactly. Yeah. He was a real person. It wasn't just a story that they made up. He actually was walking the earth. Yeah, until he felt like me. You know what I'm saying? See, so they made up. Uh, I know that Esau made up a lot of stories to like cover up and put it in fantasy, but it's based off something real. Yeah. It's like Incredible Hope was based off Samson. That's all he did was just put a little spin on it, man. Right? Right. That was already here before. Yeah, that was, that was the fake part is that he made him look great and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. we had we had Incredible Hope. Hercules is based off of Samson. Right, right. Like we already had a Superman. You how was shot? Yep. You already had an individual based on that. Yeah, exactly. That's big time right there. Superman. But Superman got a paleo Hebrew name. Yep. Kyle L. That means all power. So I'm like, hold up. What devil, where you get, where you learn paleo Hebrew from? You know, but he probably crypt on and he, he switched it up. You know? And see, we about to see the thing that's going to mess everybody up is that we about to see that power. That's going to mess people up. They see a brother fly up in the earth. Supersonic speed, man. He might, you know, he might piss his pants. Like, oh man, like you know, he gonna be scared. He gonna be babbling. They better say never see a Jake do that fly, but come down, just crush everything. 
eyes glowing red. They, hey, 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 man, they gonna give it up, man. And we're gonna see that. And that's something we like. We put our bed in to be those type of men, man. We're ready to like give it up to Esau, man. We're ready to jump on this devil. You know? Esau, man, a lot of Edomites, they see that, man. They're gonna like, I'll work. I'll be a slave. I'll pick all your green. <laughs> Please don't do me. Don't throw me up in the air like that. Don't do me. Don't put my arm out. No heat raising me. I'll work. I'll pick all of it up. I don't want to get splattered like that. Yeah, exactly. Kind. They're like, I'll beat the rest of them. You know, it's going to be like, what you call that? Uh, the house eat yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're going to have house eat a bite. You know, over They're going to be the blue black Sambo. Yeah, yeah. God, we're going to have our Sambo. Uh, hey, y'all better be working now. I'm not for y'all rolling. You know? So that's, that's what we're looking forward to, man. And see, this isn't going to happen because the devil puts his hands on us. So, all of us that's built in the faith, we're not afraid of that stuff. We're not afraid of this thing that's about to come. We, we like, we want the devil to do it. We look at him like, what's taking you so long? Uh, this is First Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is like a roaring lion walking the devour, seeking whom he may devour. It's like your brother said, amen. Esau is coming in like a flood, man. And, and all the promises that the Lord, your Lord, Hashem, Yahshua promised us, hey, we can't receive that until Esau do that. So we're waiting patiently for that. Man. We over here, hey, man, tapping our feet. Uh, we over here, here moving around like we waiting for Esau to do that. We, we itching, man. We bouncing up and down. Look like King David's in there. We're about to the fight. They're like, hey, man. <laughs> God, God. God. I said, we already taped up. We ready to eat. You look at Esau like God dying, man. When the fight coming? Right. Hey, Esau like Floyd. We fight Pacquiao. I'm with the there. We're putting on our yeah. armor right now. Wait another three months. The three months come up. Nah, I'll wait another six months. Six months from now, we're going to wait another eight. I still got to. A shipment of turn that is coming in. I'm not sure yet. You see them getting strong? I don't know. Did the eight months come up? Esau, let's say Esau tried to delay everything. I know this. He really don't want to pull a sword. When I look at this devil, he trying to like get money. He's trying to like, you know, spread wickedness everywhere. He really don't want to pull a sword, man. He knows he's about to get broke this time. So he he's delaying everything. But the Lord gonna make it where he can't delay it no more. The devil got to be like, oh, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I gotta go get it, man. He's gonna be waving and scary. This devil ain't coming with that great pride he used to. This devil not coming like like he in doubt. He in fear. He like, what if they are the men of the Lord? What if they are the 144,000? You know, then he don't know who is who just yet, so he's scared of every Jake. You know, the Jakes he feel comfortable with is the gangsters. They love those, but he know he get Pookie and Ray Ray. Oh, he yeah. like, the one with the garments on, talking about you how much y'all was shot, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know, like, nah, we gonna, I'm gonna sidestep those. I'm gonna go get Keisha. Right yeah, let's go get that. Keisha. I gotta figure out Hey, Keisha, I got the device. You ain't gotta work no more, Keisha. Pookie and Ray Ray got the device, ain't gotta work no more. They look like, what's that ugly dude? They went famous, he like, got him, oh, got him. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he kind of pushing in him. When they take him, they got him. Like, he saw, really don't want to pull the sword, man. He wanted to go finesse like. I noticed he wanted to finesse it. This devil, he think he's so slick, he wanted to just talk you into the stuff. He don't want to have to fight, man. This devil, he, he lazy now. It's like he like he old or something, man. He don't, his wisdom gone. He don't want to fight. He just wants you to do it. Yeah, he wants he he this smooth crazy. talk. Yeah, yeah he's like, with his word. It's that's, what, please, that's what he's looking for. Please go get this device. It's good for you. It's all 55 and You don't need your computer no more, your phone no more. You get money. I get everything you know good to you. Don't listen to them broke niggas on the block. Right. You get this, man. It's easy. Don't you want easy? You see our women, man, that say easy, they're going to go for it. They call the police. Niggas on the block. He's all good. Me, I got the vice. I ain't got to do nothing but just holler out about the vice. <laughs> you know, that's what he is. He just want comfort. You know what I'm saying? All that. Like, this is give me a BBL. You know? This device is great. That's going to be the one that the devil going to do. So he's going to put all kind of little trinkets on that device. And who, hey, he's going to be the number one one lined up to get it. Calling you out for not getting it. He's going to say, we got to watch out. We're going to need the power of the Lord to protect us. Two third uh, Israelite James. They gonna call it and tell it. He ain't getting his device. He over there. I don't know what's wrong. He a weirdo. Conspiracy it's a, theory. It's, it's a bunch of unchippables over there. <laughs> yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, God. yeah, yeah. They gonna be he's all fine. But that goes back to uh, you know, Revelation twelve and nine when the uh, that old dragon, the serpent, 
the, uh, who, who, who deceives the whole world and his angels cast out with him. Those are the angels of the devil. Yeah, the, the same the, ones. Yeah, they be calling it. Yeah. He over there ain't getting this device. Yeah. They some basic spirits theory. They holding us back. They're gonna do the same thing they did in one nine situation. They're gonna say we hold uh holding them back. Yeah, but we won't go get it. Yeah. They're gonna he's gonna make up a lie for it to work good. We need 95% participation, you know. So, you know, go go out and tell who ain't getting it, and our family gonna be, you know, mother's gonna be crying. Get that device. You need it. You ain't gonna eat without it. You gotta be a good father. And you got to be a man. A man provides. Remember that. This is the crowd stop. This is the chip stop. Kyle. 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 Here's your ten thousand credits. <laughs> You'll be not gonna know. Hey, we heard you ain't got the device in your body. Yeah. Everybody had a little device is gonna pull up on you. Like, hey, mm-hmm. I, he ain't, I ain't getting a read on like you. Like that movie Repo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got that in them, yeah. I ain't getting a read on it, man. So hey, at this time, you know, we saying all of this. This is how we do. We just make it light of it. Like we can't be afraid when this comes. You know, two third might hear that like y'all up here joking. It's gonna be bad. What we gonna do? That war is me spirit, man. You can't be in that war is me spirit. That war is me spirit, you gonna get ran through. Plus, that's what Esau wants you at. He wants you to war is me spirit. Because he wanna provide the comfort. Like, oh, don't worry about it. You know, you've got this chip in your body. The drones won't even attack you. You know, he's gonna come with stuff like that. He he wants to be the comfort. He wants to be God. The hope we let we don't look at Esau as God. We look at him as a devil and a fool. He he pale, he's despicable. You look at him like a disease. Like, you, you the problem, man. I don't want nothing you got to give me. Man, hell no. Nah. We know what that's going to do. So, we, 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 we calling Esau out. Plus, Esau don't like to be called out. I just talked to the Aki before we started up camp, and there was an old Edomite that said some, some racist stuff about my job. I'm back at the job, but when I seen him, the only thing I said to him, I'm like, yeah, I remember you, and I pointed at him. And, like, he remembered that incident. Man, that man, that man was going to shake it in his boots, man. Big old tall old Edom, he was shaking, couldn't even like do the, the presentation right. And everybody in there trying to wonder what's going on. They thought he's having a health problem. I'm in there like, I'm the only one that I know what's going on with him. I'm like, oh yeah, he over there scared. I mean, scared. I'm over looking at Esau, I'm like, I ain't gonna do nothing to you right now, man. You all right? Just know I'm coming for you, though. I'm coming for you. You know, that that put that boosted my faith to see that, man. This Edom, he like the head over the union. He got all this power. And you over scared. Because I know who he is. I see him. You know, the devil don't like that. You know, other Jakes, they all, you know, got their head up his butt. But just me saying that little saying, the way I looked at it and I pointed to, right there, like, I remember you. And they, they don't like that. See, they, they like the key word, and I say, I remember you. Esau does not like Jake in remembrance, man. To know that Jake is a Hebrew Israelite, to know our power with Yahweh Bashi Shah. That remembrance, that's terrifying to them. Because look at Psalms 83, they said, cut off the name of Israel to be. You know, a nation no, no more. And there would be no more to remember. Yep. Exactly. So Esau was cool with Jake did with Jake thought they was black, African American. Right. They just wanna do their little drugs, pay a little taxes, and you know, happy to be a slave. They was cool with that. Now Jake talking about the Hebrew Israelite calling that your how about to be shop. That puts great fear in them, man. They seem like these people were dead. The valley drop bones now living. Once they come to realize that's who they are, I can't do nothing with them no more. Now I'm scared. It's kind of like uh like a Nat Turner situation. Right. The slave like like he's scared to go to sleep at night. Like they might come in here on me. What's that precept? I stirred up that pure mind by the way of remembrance or something. Kind, kind. Kind. We're about to get that. We're about to get that. Kind. Yeah, that, that's what happened. That's why he's so scared. Like, oh, he's been stirred up. He takes us out on their feet. They know who their power is. And they, they get bold, man. Like I said, I'm a little bitty Jake, man. This is a big old John Edomite. Look, he can play the NFL, man. I look down like, oh, I remember you. Man, he was in great fear. He couldn't even, his voice was crackling when he talked. He was shaking. They thought he was having a stroke or something, man. They tried to give him water and stuff. Like, man, he just scared. That's all it is. I had a quick right here, man. Uh, and that's the reason why, because we no longer fear the devil. Now we, 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 we withdraw our fear from the devil. 
devil, we fear your high about the out job. So this is uh Matthew 10 and 28. And it says, Fear not them which kill the body. All right, who we'll have the power to kill the body right now if he's our evil so called white man because they have blessed enough sword. All right, it says, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which able to destroy both soul, body, and hell. So who that that able to kill both soul, body, and hell? If you're how old while you're out shot. Okay, that's who's able. So we fear him uh, more than we fear, you know, these devils. All right. We get to say the prayer, we get reverence. It goes to the reverence. We give the reverence to our God, our power. So he saw he's not used to that, man. He thought he 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 wanted to be like God. So like, hold up. They calling on Jesus. They calling on me. They calling on Yahweh Shah. Hold up. You know, so it's kind of like good. Good. Uh, getting replaced. The devil, he he being replaced right now. You know, he's looking like I got all this resources. I got all this stuff. And you mean to tell me, you know, they ain't giving me worship no more? They worship their true power again? Oh man, hey man. Hey, kind of like he didn't spit a pharaoh. I gotta do something about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get my military ready. Uh Get my agendas ready. I'm gonna get an opportunity. I'm gonna scare them to take this. They refuse it. Hey man, send the military on them like a flood. Now then let's see what happens. And then when you do that, hey, the devil get a bad report. You get the report like, hey man, there's something, it's a phenomenon going on. You know, all, all Alpha Bravo team got knocked out. Then the devil gonna run to his bunkers like, hey, he got a band of ship, man. And we we waiting on that moment. This is Isaiah 59 and 19. It says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Woo, hey, my favorite precept right there. You hear that? Back him up. Hey, he going to lift up the standard against this devil. We waiting on that. That's why we waiting on the devil to pull his move. Go ahead, do martial law. Go ahead, send your military, man. We know that's my favorite precept I read. And it said, for the name. When they hear that get howl, Bob Shimmy Howell shot, that devil shaking his boots. Like, what? How'd they get the name back? I done went thousands of years, I done beat them, hung them, you know, uh, put drugs in their neighborhood. I thought they was dead. I thought I had them. How did this come back? That devil was stressing. What, losing all his hair? What, what's that little uh, pro game? I ain't working no more. The devil was stressing out. Bobby up, smacking subordinates. Like, man, hey, man. Hey, they probably get vocab in here. You are supposed to get the back Christianity, man. What happened, man? Be like, hey, man, ask the Lord, man. Hey, you better go to your starship, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if Terminus gonna get it done. Like, we looking like, yeah. Like, hey, man, man, what's that song that we ready? Yeah. Hey, we over here and it's getting louder. You're hearing your high voice, your shout louder. There's more camps, more brothers and sisters coming in, getting the truth. It's getting bigger. And he's like, I got a problem. Train derailed me, man. Hey, what Trump at? Distraction, man. Anything, just get them out the truth. Then now the devil like, I gotta take down YouTube. He's like, man, I make too much money on YouTube though. Yeah, that, he probably like, hey, you gotta pull it. That, Over that's there, why, uh, pull it. That's why they uh, what was at the World Economic Forum and they, they were saying they gotta uh, put money on behind uh, misinformation. Yeah, cross they, they, they gonna end up pulling yeah. YouTube in a minute. Then they're gonna say, hey man, ban the Bible. You're yeah. like, ban the Bible? We've been using this for so long. Ban the Bible. Do you hear them? Do you see them? They're getting strong. They call out the names, the Bible, that, that they're back, man. It not working no more. Hey, call class while get it going. You know, we waiting on that. We like about time, devil. Got a quick one. Jeremiah 50, 50 and 52, uh, 50 and 2. It says, declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and cancel not. Say Babylon. Bell is confounded. Merodach is broken into pieces. Her idols are confounded, and Woo. her image is broken in pieces. <laughs> I like that's that devil gonna hear right there. That's that bad report. That devil hearing that report right now, man. Right? Look like it ain't working. The economy's messed up. The military stretched thin. I don't know if we can do it. They have doubt. We ain't got doubt. We got faith. Like, oh yeah, devil. Very calm. Hey, it's gonna be the hey, the comeback of all time. Payback from way back, homie. We over here like shaking our hands like bird man, like man, it's about that time, baby. It's about that time, you know. And the cherry on top gonna be when y'all shot show up. That's the cherry on top. That's that hey, kingdom come. You know, so the devil like, hey, hey man, I'm gonna try to see uh, get who I can get, which is gonna be two-thirds. We don't we don't care about two-thirds. You didn't want to worship y'all shot. 
when the truth is going out, hey, good rent, man. We don't need you no way. Like you, you you help this devil. I like that part when you said what well, I do when you found it. That, that goes into all of the false religions that been teaching that been God and our people right here. That was those items we've been confounded. That false that false white boy Jesus Christ, that's the idol. That's not that's not the true image of our society. Uh, it's over with too. That's what they say. Like they put strippers in the church. They doing a concert in the church. They doing anything in church for them. And that's spelling, oh, man. Verse 23, 
I will also break in pieces with thee, the shepherd, and his flock. Plantation Christian pastor. And with the, with thee will I break in pieces the happy man and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captain and ruler, the politician. All right. And it says, and with thee will I render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, says the Lord, Yahweh, by Tim Yahweh Shah. Ooh, I love that. I love that preacher. They say gonna make us a battle axe, man. That said, the misrepresented Pentecostal church, church make you think everything's love. Everybody, we gonna love and huh? No, man. The Lord about he's a man of war, man. We about to get that that we gonna be warriors, you know. And you got one hundred forty-four thousand saints. Hey, we about to get a hey, we about to lay it on Esau, man. Lay it on them thick too. We ain't gonna care, you know. You yeah, preacher. Yeah, this back up with what you guys just saying. Says, behold. I will make thee a new sharp fresh instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt press the mountains in the governments and beat them small, and shall make the hills as shaft. Saying that you guys stand out on these street corners, preach the word as your house shall have teeth before he comes to break down and loosen up all these governments so that the people can work. Like you say. The world is gonna be on fire when he shows up and the main thing that's kindling it is the brothers out you know preaching the word getting everybody ready you know going out fishing getting out of the house shots hopefully left and live what, what preach that again was that out it was 41 uh, and 15 he brought up the one of right i was about to bring it out too i was about to bring that the spirit i was about to bring that out i'm about to continue it you it, came with it this is saying it goes perfectly with this very next preacher this is jeremiah 51 and 25 and it says behold I'm against thee, O destroying mountain, says the Lord, Yahweh about me out shot, which destroyeth all the earth, and I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and roll thee down from the rock, and I will make thee a burnt mountain. Mm -hmm. And mountains and mountains and hills goes into rulership, if you don't know. Mm -hmm. And uh that mountain and hills is talking about Esau's mountain and hill, his rulership. Because we're under his uh his his rulership right now, uh, pursuant to Job 9 and uh 24. Yeah, 24. And uh the scriptures say. Hey, uh, we're gonna be doing powerful things like telling hey this mountain be removed removed and that's what we're doing right now man we're telling this mountain be removed so when the lord come back that's why the lord said this place gonna be on fire we're we're putting this place on fire man mm -hmm. all right man with this word man that's going forth but i got another one this is man take it out this is michael 4 and 13. <laughs> arise and thresh O daughter of zion for i make thy horn iron I'll make their hooves brass, and they shall be in pieces many people. Mm -hmm. I will consecrate their gather to the Lord and the substance of the Lord of the whole earth. That goes with the brother Barak brought out, man. We about to come whoop up on Esau. All these heathen nations are gonna whoop up on. And we're gonna count it to the Lord, Yahweh Bashia with shouts. When he get here, everything's already gonna be set in order, man. Like we are we getting the order now. We get we we're waiting instructions from Yahweh Bashia with shout. He, he like Thanos when he snapped that fingers. Hey. And we all got spiritual power, hey. just like that, you know. And hey, we gonna set in motion, man. Y'all shot is about to set down, like yeah, it's all. All you gotta do is set up, like we be doing it for him, man. He like my servants are now fighting for me. Now they beating down these mouths, man. We running up in Esau's, like you know, townhomes, uh, his bunkers, you know, all this little military installations. We gonna be raiding them, man. Dragging them out. Hey, got them on their knees before y'all was shot. Y'all shot gonna be like, hey, he's gonna nod, man. And that's gonna be Luke 19, 27. We're gonna sit straight swing. We're gonna hold up Esau head to the rest of them. Y'all wanna be this, y'all gonna go work. Who gonna work? Who gonna want their head sliced off, man? They gonna, hey, I'm gonna work. Get out and lay down. Come on. We're gonna get out and lay down. Gotta quit when this is Psalms 2 and uh, 7. It says, I would declare, I, I would declare the uh, decree. The Lord said unto me, the, uh, thou art my son. This day I have begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for an inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for his for thy possession. Ooh. So we're gonna be breaking uh, Esau down, man. The Lord giving uh, the nations for uh, our possession, man. The the way the world was supposed to be ran, man. Hey, Israel is the ruler of all things. The, uh, this earth was given unto us, uh, to us, man, not to him. Hey. Uh, the scripture said he was going to be serving us, man, uh, back from Genesis. Mm -hmm. I got a quick one to back you up. I'll get uh, Revelation 13 to 10. 
And it says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience in the faith of the saint. Ooh, hey, we are patiently waiting on that, man. We got our faith, man. We waiting on that precept to be fulfilled right there. Who put us in captivity? Esau put our people in captivity. That's all in the record books, man. Esau trying to reset it. Critical race theory. You know, he trying, I didn't do hey, that. Well, you mentioned Psalm 83. <laughs> Psalm yeah. 83. That, that's a perfect example. You see, and then start with the tabernacle of Edom. And then you also got the other tabernacle, which is Moab and so on and so forth. They helped put us in captivity. So they're going to be under us as well. Uh, we're gonna get the, all, all the heathen as a, a nation of inheritance, you know, as a hurt. All of them, they all had a hand in it, mm -hmm. you know. And who killed us by the sword? Esau killed us by the sword. So the Lord about to flip everything, man. He's a righteous judge, man. So Esau been, you know, slaying our people for thousands of years, and the minute it's about to reverse, you know. Now we're gonna be cutting on his numbers. And see, the damn bad thing about Esau is that Esau doesn't have the birthright. Right. That's why there's gonna be none remaining in the house of Esau. He's gonna go extinct. You know, we got the birthright, so we was able to outlast that. Esau can't outlast that. So in a minute, only way you're gonna see Edomites in a museum or something, you know. <laughs> you know, he's gonna see him in the museum. You're gonna see his little caveman clothes in the museum with a, with a bat and something. Yeah, the, kid, the kids don't even know what happened. They'd be like, what is it? Oh, that was Esau. He didn't disappear. We don't know who he is. Yeah, so they used to rule over us. Yeah. Damn. Granddad used to rule up. Man, they used to rule up. I had to work for him and everything, baby. <laughs> like, oh, granddad, no, nah, granddad. They're going to get crazy. How about you have a shot? You know, they're going to be like a horror song. They're going to be like, you're going to gather around and tell you. Horse. They're going to work up on the grave. They're going to oh, you had to work. You know? That's going to be like campfire. I'll tell you how to eat them out. And it's like, uh, 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 coming to America. My son works? God. <laughs> God. Oh, you said bad word. You said America. That's forbidden. You know? And I said, we and then like right now, we just get ready for like the hard push, man. The hard push is gonna be when e Esau come with great rap. And we ready for that, man. As I say, like when you hear about Jacob's trouble and you hear about the devil coming out great rap, if you're in fear, your faith ain't been built up enough. You need to get in this truth, eat up, get your spirit built up because when your spirit is sufficient. It's like you ready for it. Like we ready for that fight. We been, we over here laced up, training like Ox said, we over here jumping around, shadow boxing. We wait no Esau to say he ready to fight. Cause we ready. We wait no Esau. Esau over there delaying it. No, I don't wanna fight now, next year. Now three years, we over here like, God damn, I'm ready for the fight, man. Got my mouthpiece in, <laughs> you know. I'm ready to get it in. He's all like, no. Nah. So I noticed, see, that right there is grace and mercy to be in that type of spirit. Because, like, your average Israelite is not in that spirit, man. They afraid. I can't talk to worldly jakes about the stuff we talk about right now. They'll tell me, I'm scared. That's scary. Don't say that. I'm like, damn. You scared to talk about it? So when he's getting hit, you know, that jake ain't going to last for the device. Because that's going to be his only comfort. Like, you know, they're going to be. Blowing snap boogers. You're not gonna shoot me if I get it. Okay, I get it. You know, that's gonna be the two thirds. We over here like, man, I ain't getting your stuff and smacking it. But you're gonna be kicking the spring, acting a fool. You know, and we wait on that power to initiate. That power to initiate. Hey, we're gonna go over there, burn it up in supplies of devices. We're gonna blow them up, getting them in the head with the case, you know, kicking them in the butt. You know, you're gonna, you gotta put this in me, huh? Ah! Ripping that guillotines up. Yeah, picking up crocs. Yeah, picking up crocs, damn devil. Yeah. I talking about it, and, and then, like, we first initially oh, jump yeah. on so Yeah, we hunting them. We're going to go to the military base. Yeah, I heard you got the new laser gun. Let's see if it works. You know? You know, you're going to jump in on it. They're going to see it on the radar. What is that? You're going to come in there. They're going to hear, you know, they're going to hear hollering. Military troops hollering. And we're going to be like, you know that pit bull off Lady dog, gonna come in. Eyes glowing. Yeah, I missed three of them. Let me go get them. You know, they probably a lot of them throw their gun down. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I heard the brother said, I work. I work. Respect on what? I want to preach, y'all. You with that? Okay, okay, see? He's not with it. You know about the gospel? How about you? How you know about it? How you don't know about it? Oh, we talk about the nation of Israel. 
before the trial is around. It's about to come back and rule the ship. And uh, Babylon is crazy. He's like, how do you feel about it? Yes. Uh, down there, you know, yeah, it's looking bad, huh? Yeah, sir. Well, of course, the strip of murder is about to be destroyed. With all the wickedness is about to be. You know, uh, spread out the better gym there for work. All of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 People shouldn't hear one thing. You should hear all of them. Come up with what they decide. Yep. Thank you, guys. All right. So did you, yeah, you see? Truth went out. I mean, the lie went out first. Now the truth coming right behind it. And and, and everybody say, I, I want the truth. You know? They're like, you be tired of this, man. Everybody tired, man. I'm going to go get this since they were said. Truth got been so long without food. Uh, saw, I can get that. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he did, said he with it. I yeah. said, did you call him Esau? Uh, I don't know if I saw yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. first. Uh, did, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. He's all with it. <laughs> He's all with it, man. I'm telling you, they don't want to fight. They about to, they, I'll give it up, man. Only ones but the crowd was going to fight, man. This is Proverbs. This, this is what just happened in the interaction. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear rules, the people mourn. Yeah. He, yeah, and he with his own people rule the ship. Lord love him. He's like, hey, man. Yeah, y'all need to do it, man. He ready to work. He literally, he literally said he don't like what, what's being preached out here in Oklahoma, and that's what he said. Yeah, man. I'm like, hey, that's what you know it's a rap. Yeah. The low love eating like, hey, man. He's ready. He's ready to work. We ain't got to do nothing to him, man. He's going to get out there, pick the grains. He want to work in the house. Yeah, he, <laughs> hey, he get ready. He, he put it in. He want to be a house eater. Yeah, I get the mother was in line. Like, Dirty eater bites. <laughs> You're like, uh, what's that, uh, Samuel Jackson and Django? Yeah. You already watched that part. Yeah, yeah. Who the hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. that? He's in. He want a good job. Hey, man, I can't blame you, you know, because <laughs> it's about to go down. Man. That's why the thing's, uh, it's so spiritual. And, um, uh, you know, it, it puts you in good spirit if you're in the right spirit, man. Like, we about to get it. We about to get it. Y'all struggling? You got to go through a horror period, but if the Lord is with you, you make it through. Your faith got to shine through. Your faith is up, man. We good. You know, I'm ready to see the power of the Lord. You know, I want to see it on display, however he do it. That's what I want to see. I'm excited to see how is he going to, you know, deliver me. You know, which way he going to go with it. But the only, but at the happen, my faith got to be sufficient. I got to believe the Alpha Shah going to deliver me, and he's going to give me that salvation. And I got to get ready to resist the devil. Because the devil going to come up, you know, he's going to try to shake us up out of it. Like, what's this Yahweh Shah Shah stuff right here? What's that about? You know, you're going to come with these little AR-15s. Like, you know, hey, man, you still going to represent the Lord or what? You know, we got to be like, we got to be strong like, yeah, you know. And we got to be pounding our chests on the devil. Rooted and grounded. Rooted and grounded. Like I said, unwavering faith, man. You can't get shook. Since it was that song called the Shook Ones, yep. he started looking to shake you up. He just shook like, oh, yeah, you ain't no real believer. Like these camp, other camps. Man, them people gonna fall right in line with that MOTB, man. That, that Especially like IUIC, they ain't ready. That actually goes in good with that parable that Yahweh shout to talk to the disciples of uh, what he said uh, to some seed fell by the wayside. And then he ended up, he said the seed, the good seed fell on good ground, meaning that they ain't 10 toes down right there. And that they could see. Ain't growing strong, man. Ready to be that strong tree. Yahweh shout like, hey, man, I don't give a damn about you blowing some wind. You know, I'm built for the storm, you know? The mother camps, some other people that like think this thing is like a fab, they like the uh the, the weeds gonna choke them out. Right. He's all gonna come, you know, all you gotta do is twist their arm a little bit. They like, all right, I'll give in. Pressure and they gonna get in. Yeah, we be all like shit. I'm ready to get my life for this truth. When you at that level, what else can the devil do? That's what he like, nah, I can't do nothing with that. You know, he ain't even scared of me. They're going to have to make their decision to take you out. Yeah, it? and then when they see something, you know, whatever, you know, the Lord do it, chariot, spiritual power, you know, however he delivers you. When they see that, then they're like, oh, my Lord, the Lord is with him. I got to avoid this dude. I'm running. I'm running away from him. 
the Lord really like that's the truth. That's when the reality go hit Esau, like all the heathens, like they really are men of the Lord. Now what? Right here to back you up in uh, this is Obadiah, Obadiah uh, verse fifteen, and it says, "For the day of the Lord, Yahweh is near upon all heathens." All right, let me read that again. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh is near upon all heathens, and thou hast done it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall be turned unto thy own, upon thy own head. For as, for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon the Mount Zion shall be delivered, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. And it says, in the house of Jacob, shall be a fire in the house of joseph a flame in the house of esau for stubble and they shall kindle they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall none be any remaining of the house of esau for the lord yahweh has spoken it. Hey, I, love, I love the book of diet man you will not hear no plantation christian pastor bring that stuff out man and that's prophecy right there that's a future prophecy it said none remain in the house of esau that hasn't happened yet. You know, that's Old Testament. Just prophecy in the Old Testament. You know, Pastor Bush ain't going to pull that out right there. And it's giving you the time about what's going to happen. So why should you be afraid when the Lord told us that we're going to kindle in them? Like, we're going to beat down Esau. Like, we got the W already. Going back to that precept, we're going to make us a battle act. That's how we're going to destroy him. Like, he's going to make us uh, the weapons of uh, y'all about to y'all. He's going he to turn us into weapons. And destroy Esau. God. And best way I can pull that official, like I said, go watch Black Adam, man. The reason why they slammed the rock for making that movie, man, that pissed them off. Esau know, and they, they put little hints in that movie too, man, to like let you know what it is, man. Instead of Israel, they called it Kandah. You know, remember he was, he was fighting for a nation. He's like, I'm the champion of my nation. I don't give a damn about everybody else. And then you say he was, I killed. They're like, you can't be killing people. Like, man, I, nah. you know, he didn't give a damn. Why well, I do that's gonna be that's the spirit of your house, that's gonna be us, man. We're gonna make us austere men. We're gonna man put these military dudes. They said that I think they was occupied by military power too, wasn't yep. they? Was subjection, they couldn't go nowhere. The checkpoints, they was in the press, you know. Hey, she called her. What, what did he say? She said, Suzanne over there. Hey, the rock showed up. That's us saying, Your house shot. The power gonna show up, man. Hey, he ran that military like it was nothing, you know. That's about the, you're gonna see that in real life. That's why we're not afraid of Esau and this military. We're looking ready to get at that military, man. What we do is putting ourselves in the correct lot so that we can receive that standard. Yeah, you quoted this part I preached up earlier, right? It's uh, Luke 19 and 27. And it says, But those my enemies, which, which would not that I should reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. And we're gonna do that. They said, He's the one, you know, buck up. They want to act right. They say, when y'all shall show up, come off that chair, man. You have heathens on their knees bounded already. Like, you see them? That's your house shot right there. When you hold your tongue, or I'm going to cut it out. You know, then if you want to talk some more, hey, y'all shall going to give us the, the nod. You know, like, what was that movie about that guy was eating when he pounded his little staff? <laughs> y'all shall going to, uh, uh, and hey, that's off with your head, man. And we're going to do it. Not feel no type of way. We're going to be remorseful, like, man. I, I should have. I should have slashed his head off like that. Nah, we ain't gonna have none of that. Nah. Ain't none of that gonna be feeling like that. We gonna be like, man, that, that felt so good to do that. Like, I wish another one would say something, man. I'm about to, I'm gonna do it like this. Like, we gonna be practicing. We got to test out our, our, our abilities. Uh, you know, like I pulled him out like that. He hollered. Let me go get this one. You know, we gonna be wanting him to say something. Like, what? What'd you say? They ain't they calling us Lord. Like right. I said, not the Lord your house. Like he's he not trying to do us. Like he'll tempt you into saying something so he can do something. But that's how we going to be. All right, shit. You ain't saying that? You go ahead. Oh, all right. You saying something? <laughs> I told you to be quiet. <laughs> God, man. Like, we got to have fun, y'all, Charlotte. Like, I said, to me, Jacob Trump, we're going to do our best work in Jacob Trump. Like, when that spiritual power come in, Lord willing, we don't, the brothers that get it, we're going to have lots of fun. It's going to be a joy to build the kingdom of Yahweh Shah Shah. The kingdom going to be right here on earth, man. Like, Lord willing, we're part of the first rules of establishing that. You know how fun that's going to be? To hunt Esau out, you know, catch him in his little bunkers. Like, hey, man, get your little, little pale 
nasty but out of here, you know, hosing them down. Y'all dirty. I can't sell y'all right now. I'm trying, get, yeah, I'm trying to get top gold for this, you know, beating them over the head, you know, getting the whip. Yeah, that's gonna bring lots of joy right there. So the Joker Arn on Nate Nick. God, gotta chain the chain gang on them. Get over here, man. I'm about to sell you, man. You my first, my first sale. You know, just setting that up is gonna feel so great. So great. You see, that can't happen without Jacob's trouble happening. So we gotta embrace Jacob's trouble. You know, we gotta we gotta get ready to plus like to receive the hurts. We're gonna receive, you gotta be proven, you gotta be tested and proven to get that. You no, know, Lord ain't gonna go all way. You did a couple lessons, you know, I went ahead, come on in. Nah, he wanna see he's really about this. And he gonna have Esau, you know, Esau gonna jam you up. And Lord gonna see, you know, Lord gonna sit back in the cut like you see what he gonna do. You know, it's easy to talk that stuff, you know, when everything going good. I wanna see you gonna talk that, you know, when it's all bad and you all hemmed up, you gonna holler my name then? Right, this is uh Frank Peter five and eight. He says, be, uh, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walketh about, thinking whom he may devour. Whom resisted steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same affliction are accomplished in the brothers that are in the world. But Yahweh of all of all grace, who have called us, who have called unto his, uh, who have called unto his eternal glory by Yahweh Mashiach, after that ye have suffered a while make you perfect establish strengthen and settle you Ooh, strengthen and settle you man that's the putting us in that getting that rest man i like they said the suffering we don't went through the suffering about the end you know it's gonna be big you know they cut the lights out you know when the lights get cut off there's no water yeah everything's on the electric grid right now everything i like, I like how i said who resisted steadfast in the faith because we know we're gonna have to get tried we y'all so gonna be sitting there waiting on them uh, are you going to call on the name, or are you going to fold under Esau? Right, right. So we got to be we got to be steadfast in his faith. Like I said earlier, rooted and grounded, man. That's how you're going to he's going to make us straight. He's going to strengthen us and make us settle. Got to, uh, I got to put right here back up to Oxy. This is uh, Shavak. We pray this out all the time. This is uh, Ecclesiastic, aka Shavak, chapter two, and I'm going to verse one, and it says, "My son, if thou come to serve the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai." Prepare thy soul for temptation. And it says, Set thy heart at right and constantly endure. Make not talk, make not hate in the time of trouble. Believe unto him and depart not away, that thou may be in grief in thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be peak and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. And this is the point right in verse 5. And it says, But go is tried in the fire. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And see that right there, that's beautiful, uh, beautiful precept because he said, Gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable man in the furnace of, of adversity. So when the Oxford dog was going into that, he basically said that you're how about to be our child, they're going to sit back and watch you get afflicted and see if you will be an acceptable man in that furnace of adversity. You see, Jake and two thirds, when they think they need an organization. They think we need a military. They think we need numbers to beat Esau. We need to build up wealth to get black economics in. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Look at yeah, all right. that little bug out stuff. Black excellence. I'm like, oh man, that, that ain't gonna work, man. Only the only way to go get the victory to the Lord. That's it. And two thirds, they like, they don't have faith. They gotta see it to believe it. They need like big guns, uh, Apache helicopters, jets, missiles. They need that to feel comfort. We don't need that, man. We need the spirit of the Lord to feel comfortable. We need to know the Lord dealing with us. Then we get the comfort. I'm going to bring this out right here. This is Judas 9-11. For thy power standeth not in the multitude, nor thy might in strong men. For thou art a God of the afflicted, a helper of the oppressed, an upholder of the weak, a protector of the poor law, a savior of them that are without hope. So the Lord said right there, man, hey, he a helper of the oppressed. Who's the oppressed? Yashrallah. You know, 12 trials of Israel, we oppressed. You know, voters the weak right now, we weak, man. The Lord called us a worm. We ain't got no power, no military, none of that stuff, you know. But we know we don't need that. All we need is the power and that standard of your high by shot with shot. So we can turn the tide on them, man. Because said the power stands not the vote to, nor strong men. The power of the Lord is not in the whole nation of Israel. It's not in, like, you know, you know, whole, a lot of people. I know there's a two-thirds thing, I don't need numbers. 
Because his power was numbers. Y'all said they were really tough. Need numbers. I'm like, nah, the Lord just was ripping, man. He don't need big numbers, man. The Lord, all he need is that view that he gonna strengthen. He gonna make you stronger than, you know, the majority. Yeah, I do. I look at the stories of old. Hey, King David was slaying tens of thousands. Uh, uh, hey, uh, the mighty man of David was making thousands flee. You know, uh, running them off. Uh, he didn't do that with a lot of people. He was one chasing off a thousand. Uh, like that movie, uh, that movie 300. Uh, uh, That's really about us. Yeah, we're going to say that's a small number. We're going to a big army. Yeah, so. I'm talking about 300 people. Five thousand. Yeah, so that's gonna what I'm just saying right there. Like the Lord don't need numbers, man. That says they ain't gonna understand the power of your high bash shower shot. They always gonna put him in some little bitty box. They wanna like make the, the, the Lord like carnal or something. Like, you know, put him in a category. They 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 downsize it. I'm like, man, this power is way beyond your comprehension, man. And we give you a little insight of that, but you gotta listen. And they don't wanna listen. They're like, no, nah, nigga, no, nah, nigga, he talk guys. Get your missiles, nigga. You ain't got nothing, nigga. Yeah, I got I'm with Esau. Shit, I got that old bunch of them. Yeah, yeah, they look at that like, that, that, that's your name. That's nothing. I need tanks. I need, I need all that. That's just kind of like, I fight my family about that all the time. Yeah. All the gangsters in my family, yeah. that, that be their main thing. They let you talk all this stuff. Yeah, we need to get I, all the weapons. Yeah, they, they yeah. ask me like women. Yeah. They always tell me like, where your God at? Where your power at? I don't see that. He's all running. Back like old white, low with that back. Yeah. All the gangsters in my family marking me that same little red right there. Now I'm like, y'all about to see it in a minute. Just wait. You just wait. I said a lot of gangsters niggas really do act like Ross, man. I know that they. It's not a big difference between a Keisha and uh OG Pookie Low on yeah, the block. Yeah, because they, 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 they are they the emotional creature. That's what they yeah, do. Yeah, emotional the baby. It's just, yeah. They all about a material guy. I know there's a, a gangster Jake dude. He just materialistic as that the uh, the Keisha on the block. Right. He right. gotta have Jordan. She gotta have a birthday bag. You know he need his polo, Gucci, and she need Gucci too. Uh, and they fight for the bag to get that. You know, but that's like to them like like they gotta they gotta see stuff. Show me the power. Show me. I don't see nothing. Uh, this quick, I got a quick preach up, a couple of uh, preach up on faith. All right, it's uh, Hebrews 11 and 1, and he said, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. All right, and so they're gonna break it down and jump down to verse 4. Uh, no, so like verse 5, uh, Hebrews 11 and 5, he said, By faith, he's not, he not was translated that he should not see death and was not found because Yahweh has translated him. But for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased Yahweh by some Yahweh Shai. In verse 6, and it said, For without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to he, he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is the rewarder of them that literally seek him. Mm, that's all about that faith, man. Then that's something the two-thirds don't have. That's why they can't get this truth. It, 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 it's, it's foolishness to them. Cause they can't see it. Like you talking all this nuts about something, I don't see nothing. You know, they all tell me we're not gonna win no race war, man. We gotta bow down to Esau. Right. Don't they they basically tell me don't I had a cousin tell me to put rock in the boat. And I'm like, man, you old Momo. And if that comes by, he is the Momo. You know, the person said it to me, I was thinking that, but I found out he really is one. Yeah, you don't know, tell me don't rock the boat. I'm talking, man, tell me don't rock the boat. Nigga, at least say rock the boat, I'm rocking the boat, man. <laughs> Shit ain't right. Try to tell me. Hey, I got one. Like, yeah. Go ahead, yeah. This is uh Alicia. They were surrounded, and one of the servants was folded, like he's saying, his people, because he seen the enemy with all their horses and chariots, and they didn't have anything. This is what Alicia told him. And when the servant of the man of God has was risen early and gone forth, behold, and host to pass the city both with horses and chariots and his servants said unto him alas my master how shall we do and this replied and he answered fear not for that they fear not excuse me and he said and he answered fear not for they that be with us are more than they that be with them meaning that the servant 
because he lacked faith and realized that they was surrounded by angels. But Elisha had his faith in him and knew that the most I was going to stand up for him and send angels to help fight. That's how the brothers that was able to, with 300 men, was able to defeat armies because they had an angel that was surrounded help in this battle. Good, man. Yeah, I like that, man. Like I said, you gotta have faith, man. You see that? And like faith gonna hold us down in tough times, man. Jacob coming in, you know, because of our faith, man. We got that stability. We got wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. It's keeping us stable. Like the two thirds of Israel, they don't have that. They bugging out right now, man. They're freaking out the people up. The libraries and quick trips, and, you know, for any little thing, you know, they just going crazy right now. They don't, they don't know about hope they don't see that you know it's going to be greater things they just like what well, they think is great which is america they like it's being destroyed they like i ain't got nothing else to live for so i'm gonna go do somebody in i'm gonna do myself in you know there ain't, ain't nothing to live for and i'm like dude this stuff low level and uh they, they come back up with the dog with both of the arguments here because the dog like you said look at the generations of old right so this is uh hebrews 11 and 7 and it said by faith Noah being warned of Yahweh about some y'all shall of things not seen as yet. All right. And it said, move with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by which he condemned the world and became heirs of the righteous, which is by faith. So faith, hey, uh, by Noah's faith, when he saved himself in his household, man. Hey, when other when other people was laughing at him, ah oh, man, there ain't, ain't no rain. They ain't, ain't never seen no damn rain. They, like, what the hell are you talking about? Hey, Noah, hey, man, do faith, the fear, and fear the Lord. Hey, man, say it's his house and uh, his self, man. Hey, we got to have that faith. We got to have faith in the name, first and foremost, because if you know who to call them. Right, and then, because even at time of Noah, you really think about it, y'all, which I even mentioned, that they were drinking, giving them married, and so on and so forth. And he said, so, and so, just like the time of Noah, it's gonna be the same team and this time is coming around as well too. You're gonna have the same two thirds that don't believe. And you know, they gotta believe, you know, they always say seeing and believing. All right. So those are the same people they're gonna be giving in marriage, they're gonna be partying, and then and, and that time's gonna come that when that fire is gonna come on uh America and get back on the break. And uh you know we can read a, we can read another one of uh generation of all too because you know this uh Hebrews 11 and 8, the Bible point home right here, he said, by faith, Abraham, when, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have put you to lock it with you. We read that again. It said, by faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. All right? And said, by, by faith, he should join in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in the tabernacle with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundation, whose builders and makers of the maker is Yahweh by Jim Yahweh I like that one, man. I like that one. Lord, the Lord is with us, you know? And, and like the big part of that, the Lord being with us is that He putting us in remembrance of who we are. You know, that's the first. That's how. That's the first uh, grace and mercy been extended. First, I'm gonna get your ID, and your identity back. You know, I'm gonna get your mind right. That way, when the action hits, you're not lost. You know what to do. You know what's going on. So you're gonna be moved the way I want you to move. It's like basically get training already. You're basically giving us training. I'm gonna pull this. I think you called for this earlier. How huh? you see this one you were talking about? This is Second Peter. Three and one, the second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, and both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Right. Verse two, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. So this whole work is, man, the apostles, the disciples, you know, Yahweh Shah was to stir up our mind and remembrance of who we are, man. Let us know we warriors. Let us know our culture and let us know that Jacob's trouble coming. Like he let us know he saw bringing a fight to us. So we're not sitting back, you know, in this little laid back mood, you know, all laid back in retirement, thinking it's all good, waiting on our 401k. Now, man, we up doing push ups, we shadow boxing, and it's all coming. 
that goes perfect with that precept I just brought out, uh, First Peter five and eight. You know, be sober, be vigilant. Uh, all right, and that being sober uh, means level, level minded. All right, and being vigilant means watchful. And he said because the devil, your adversary, as the roaring lion, walking about seeking whom he may devour. See, that, that's how that that's that warning that Yahweh Shah gave to us to to watch out for these devils. All right, they they start to seek who they're gonna devour, and ultimately the two thirds they're gonna devour the two thirds with ease. Because they 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 have not taken heed to this warning. They're not sober. They're yeah. drunk on Babylon too. Uh -huh. Whatever Esau prescribed, they over there drinking it up. And you know, you drunk, you you pissy drunk, you can't fight good. You ain't the drunken master. Yeah. He's somebody that's not your block off real quick, yeah. you know. And all the spiritual shit, they they basically drinking on all the philosophies of Esau. And you know, the precept kid Solomon said in uh Proverbs, where he said the simple believe in every word and are punished. And that's the two third. They are the simple minded that believe every word that he saw you tell them. And they're not, they're not uh, vigilant. They're yep. drunk. They're comfortable. Right. That's two bad states to be in when a fight comes. Yep. You don't want to be comfortable and you don't want to be drunk. You really ain't ready to fight in that state. You know, that's not fighting condition. And Apostle Paul, a mission was in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and 3 when he said, uh, when they shall say peace and safety, that's their comfort right there. Mm -hmm. Then destruction shall come upon them as the veil upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right, and the father Paul, that, that's the same warning. All right, and they're in right now doing that peace and safety. We got news, Russia ain't that bad, China ain't that bad. We got it. Our military is the strongest, right? We always gonna win. I got Jake's parent in that to me, and I'm looking at Jake like, ah, I ain't gonna go back to work with him. Hey, hey, you gonna find out. And, that, and that, that's you know. part of us using disturbing right there. We uh, we we kind of we kind of heard what, what's coming out of your heart with us because this is mine. All right, we see what you what you what you about, so we know we understand you're not gonna get it because you that you fake me under that strong delusion. The Lord just don't want you to have it. They putting that trust in Egypt. Yep. You know, so I know he gonna get the hit on TV. The Lord is had a piercing. He's gonna be telling me how how good that about the great military is. Looking like dude. Hey, military doing flower stuff. Man, what are you talking about? Yeah, man? They got, they got Momo's in the uh, Momo doing TikTok videos. Yeah, they you know, damn man. Yeah, Eve, Eve up here twerking her military outfit. Right. She ain't trying to go work nothing. Man, I man, see what Eve crying. She crying. Y'all get to go home. I gotta go overseas. Yeah. I'm like, hell, fuck. What, what you think is gonna happen? You saw the military. What is she over there crying? Boy. Yeah, she ain't. Y'all get to go home. I gotta go fight. Like, I let you know, Eve, they let these people, they in, they in pieces. You know, like, and like all this World War Three talk, because it looked like she was freshly signed up. So I'm like, y'all just two thirds is done, man. Yeah, yeah, she was they drunk. I, I think I see that video you talking about. I, I think the same video when she was like, I just, I just joined the military just so I can go to school. Yeah, yeah, like that. yeah, like, that was, that was a bad move right there. You got a lot of Eve in the military. They ain't about to bust nothing. Eve's going to run. Every letter of the alphabet in the military, also. Yeah. <laughs> God, they about to run out of PA, do that Y M C A. They going to be to fight. They over there in the group, over there doing some freaky shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then, uh, like, I, I bust my gun, pow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, boy, I'm over there breaking bricks with his head. Tomorrow, hey. the way it's set up, 
You think they ready? Hell no. They about to get the crime. I need that long. They're going to get caught on guard in the worst way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, get away from us. You don't know nothing. You work with the truck. Getting hit with a blind shot, hey, they'll knock you out. But getting hit when you see it coming, hey, man, you can brace for it. Yep. And they over there, they about to get hit with a blind shot. Hey, that, that, and you get knocked out. <laughs> exactly. You get knocked out when you get hit with a blind shot, don't see it coming. Man, they ain't got to put much force here. It'll knock you out. You get knocked out, I mean, that's gonna be your grade right there. That's gonna happen to Jake, man. Jake ain't ready. I done, been, I done played football. I done got knocked over by a little guy. Hey, hey on the on the blind side, yeah, yeah, yeah. he, he hit hey, me with I, the blind side. Boom! Hey, I done did the flip. Hey, I know what you mean. I went, I, and it was my own teammate. He was in practice. I woke up wanting to fight. Hey, he like, man, I should have been paying attention. To him. It happened to me when I was in the game one time. I, I went up to the uh, went took took a five in the slick. Mm. Hey, I was paying attention to the ball. I caught it. Boom! <laughs> I got there like that too. Hey, I got hit with stomach like that, trying to joke and be fancy. We get up through the ball and got hit with that. Yeah, got hit. I ain't see it coming. Matter of fact, I'm fracturing my wrist when I hit out of the coming. The bad boy caught me. I'm like, how did the bad boy catch me, man? I thought I had everybody done. I was up there showing folks. I'm like, I done made it. Oh, hey, bad boy tackled me. Hey, man, I hit the ground so hard, rolled over my wrist on the ball. It looked bad, man. Like, yeah, you fractured your wrist. I'm like, ah, oh. I didn't see it coming. Bad boy wouldn't have called me if I'd have seen it. I yeah. thought I had him done. I was up there giving people socks, you know. I thought I was Barry Sanders or something, man. Bad boy has the speed. Like I said, that's the worst one. I bet I wouldn't have got hurt if I'd have seen it coming. You know, you know, you ready to do something. Right for impact. Man. That's exactly. like that. That, I was all open out the house. I was like for the, right for the end zone, man. I was all loose and stuff. I was up there trying. Like, I made it. Bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> Bad boy came, man. You know, he's big, too. He covered me all the way up. Like, we didn't see you no more. And he hit me hard, too. Like, I, they got mad I did that right. You know? But that, hey, that's going to be the two-thirds. And they can't say, I didn't know. If they roll past us, they don't say nothing. Hey, Brother Barack can attest to that. How many days no more past us ain't said nothing? Like, we had one dude trying to look good. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah. They don't want to hurt it. Yeah. Hey, you know, the two of them, they don't walk by. You know, they walk by and they came back this way. Hurry, they, they want to hurry up. If you come listen to me, you get $10 million in your mailbox. Right, right. No. Prosperity. Yeah, they want prosperity, man. They want, and that's what they do. do. I found out about the time. That's the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you go to his church, uh, when you sit down in your seat, they'll announce the, 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 uh, the numbers of the seat, and you win money. Like everybody, somebody going to win. It's like a drawing. Like five thousand dollars. Look under your chair and be sixty-three. Yeah, yeah, they do that. They do that, man. So I'm like, that's why he got a big congregation. People go there to get paid. Right. That's not the casino, ain't it? Yep. That's not the casino. You sit down. I hope I'm, I got the luck to see today. Bingo. Yeah, like bingo. Yeah, yeah. Jake walked by like he's he got a hand on the plate or something. Ask for a donation. Yeah. yeah. Man, so hey, we over here. We happy, man. Hey, the spirit of the Lord is is hitting hard. Brothers are putting out all kinds of good edifying lessons. And we get fed with the truth, we're making us fat and getting strong. And like we lifting weights, man. We over here swinging. We getting ready for East Side. I'm ready for East Side to open up. I've been ready for him. I'm looking at him like, come on with it, man. We, we preach up right here in Proverbs 14 and 15. It said, the, the simple believe in every word, but the prudent man look well to his going. Yep, the prudent man, hey, foresee it, man. We foresee in this place to open up. Watch the Lord told us in the scriptures. Jake's trouble is coming. He also gave us a sign of the time to let us know what time it is. I said, we know what time it is, man. It's the time to heal. It's the time to heal. You got to know what time it is, man. Discern that. You got to be laced up with these scriptures. And we know what time it is, man. Jake's trouble open up. We're not going to be in the time to heal. Peace. That's time. Jake's trouble is not party time. You know, you, the E's, they, they, they party. They don't know the signs of the times. They don't know the devil about to open up. You know, we tell them, they, you being negative. I've been told that. That's negative talk. I'm like, what the hell? I'm telling you the truth, but that's negative. So you just want me, they want to, like the truth said, they want to hear some more. You tell them you're beautiful. Uh, you're going to have lots of money. Your children going to be good. You're bringing a bad vibe over here, man. Yeah, uh-huh. they're going to say they don't, they don't want that, man. They don't like the truth, man. The truth is very unsettling to Jake. Jake wants to hear good then. They want to hear America going to be here for the next 50 years. That's what they want to hear. They're going to hear their uh, they degrees going to be successful. 
And I, that's what I heard tell you that. But I'm going to tell you the truth. Man, America about to be destroyed. Man, man, that's a good thing if you're in the right spirit. They are like, no, I like America. I can go, you know, uh, be a human toilet seat. I get to eat boo boo, and especially women. Women got a good here. They can just go on the phone, select, have a Jake pull up, and with that one chick that rapper say, eat, eat, eat the booty. Yeah. You know, eat, eat boo boo. <laughs> you know, get, and get free stuff. <laughs> you know, let's stay even. You know, so as I said, it's going to be real hard to reach even the truth. She's in a state of total comfort. She's totally comfortable. He's going to make sure Eve is comfortable because he make a lot of money off her. She talks to consumer. She buys everything. She don't save nothing. He never get rid of Eve. So he like Eve to be with her. That's why they promote harlotry. You know what they rappers? They promote that. You a savage. You don't need no man. Get that bag. Get that Berkey. Get them nails done. Uh, make that man pay. Make them all pay. Get your money up. You know, uh, play the field. You know, and then Jake right behind it. You know, Jake, Jake so bad. Jake wants to come for Eve, guys. Like you come in that song, Jake talking about snack me out. I'm like, what the hell? Hey, the Jake man, the two third Jake man has turned into a woman. If you think about it, now you think he's ready for war? You think he's ready for each part roll out the great fury? He gonna push the woman out like you, you, you the uh, brave and independent. You go get him. I'm about to run over here and run. You mad all by yourself, remember? Yeah, you strong, remember? I seen I seen Black Widow do it in the movies. You know, you 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 miss wrong. Don't do it. You know, she was like, I thought I had a man. You better get the fight if you want the woman, I guess. Yeah, they like, you want the woman, go get him. You know? They about to be crying, man. They both gonna be crying. I think these songs gonna do us like this. I paid my taxes. I was a good nigga. I was a good nigga. He's something that I hear you on the board. Open your mouth up. Loud. Or give him that device. Yeah. First, he's going to give him the device. He's going to try the device first. Yeah. yeah. You ain't willing to take that. Loud. Right. Sure. Ain't going to be no, no, no protection for them. Sure. They don't know the Lord's name. They don't know the gospel. They don't know the gospel. Man. They don't know nothing, really. I said, if you don't know the truth, you don't know nothing. Because only the truth is gonna survive. Okay. Okay. This is just they don't know the name. This is uh Acts 16 and uh in uh 30. It says, it says, sir, what must I do to be saved? Verse 31. It says, and they said, believe on the Lord, Yahweh shall and thou shalt be saved, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. So, hey, they don't even know the Lord's name, man. So, how are they going to be saved in their hospital? Hey, they're going to be calling on uh, sweet baby Jesus and get took off. There ain't no power in that name. All right. Let's say, well, who got that Proverbs 18 and 10? The Lord's name strong tower. Those that run up into it are safe. You know, that's that's what the whole collect going to do. That's why that's another part of the grace and mercy. Get the Lord's name back, you know. Uh, the majority of the Israelites don't have that. They still they're gonna holler out Jesus. They will be saved with Jesus. <laughs> they're gonna get a hey, straight judgment off that. Lord gonna be like, the part from me, I never knew you. You know, so uh, calling me that. And Lord gonna get offended with that. That's why. Like, right, right, too. Uh, that Proverbs eighteen to ten. The name of the Lord. Uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And they that is right that God wants to be saved. Brought it all the way. Brought it all the way, man. Yeah. Yeah, I pull that a lot. Yeah. See, that, that's big, man. Got to know the Lord's name. It's part of the grace. That's why we have we ain't scared. The Lord done told us His name. We building an intimate relationship with our power. You know, we know what he, what he acquires. We know His name. We know what He want. What He don't want. We know uh, what He about to do. The Lord, like a great king, we like heralds for your house shot. He letting us know what He about to do. And we up for telling Esau what He about to do. Like, hey man, you about to get it, man. You know, I said, and they got us like, man, it's like like your house shot got our back. Like we got the strongest fight on our team. So we over here, we confident. Like, hey man, you about to get it, man. You know, like I told the devil at work, like I remember you. You know? And that devil like, oh shoot, you know. They they got the big dog with them, man. They got your house shot, man. Like, hey man. Acts 4 and uh Acts 4 and 12. It says, neither is there salvation in any other. There is there is no other name under heaven. Given among men whereby we must be saved. And that name is Yahweh, uh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shaman. 
and uh, ancient paleo Hebrew. Those names hold a lot of weight. Just say those names over and over, and then you'll get a feeling over you like, damn. And like, uh, I did that before a lot of times, man. You, you feel power in that. And they got really do. That's when you pray in that name, boy. Man. And they got camps out here. Camps out here that's taking the name from Yashua. Right. Telling you, no, that ain't he getting paid to tell you the name. Man, right. He said Yashua love to get knocked for what he's doing. Yep. You know, he's taking your arm wrong. You know? And the way he saw to get you real easy, man. So that devil think he's slick, man. That's one of his biggest flexes right now. It's like Bishop Nate and all these little, you know, Bob one secret. Uh, cameras. You know, that's like that's really like his biggest his biggest weapon. Vocab ain't doing nothing. Me, Vocab was wild. You know, so he need like Bishop Nate, General Johanna. Like those are his best weapons right now. Cause like the spirit ain't with you. You got discernment. You fall in that camp and man, he gonna strip you naked, man. That way he saw me do you win. You know? I got a question right here that goes into those other groups that try to tell you that the uh you know the name don't matter, right? So this is uh Isaiah 30 and 1, and it said, Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, Yahweh to me, I'll shine. They take counsel, but not of me, and that, that cover it with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. All right, and that word covering actually goes into that protection from Yahweh to me, I'll shine. Okay, they're taking the counsel and they're covering themselves, that basically made of sin and not the sin, I mean, not the covering of Yahweh to me, I'll shine. Okay, so when you get rid of that name, you take that name from the congregation, you're basically uh, persuading them to add sin onto sin. All right, and that goes to that barrier children, which is ultimately the two thirds. Basically, okay, taking them out of that tower. Yep. The strong tower. Yeah, strong taking tower them out, right. taking them out the house. Yep. So he saw can line them up real quick. Mm -hmm. You know, he's like, man, they doing good. That's why they giving Nate so much money, man. Nate get millions of dollars. But y'all shrub to death, but they don't know, like, he really sent them to their death. And he make it easy, like they gotta fill out paperwork to be in his group, and it's gonna write the police down a bit. In fact, uh, they uh, at the Elder Apostle Kabar, some of us did a lesson on Mr. Nate, but they did, they just recently did their Passover, and they was like, uh, he, in that lesson, he said that they're doing their Passover on the uh, uh, what was it, April 19th is, is the sacrifice of the beef. Every year they do their Passover under the uh, 13th. The 13th sacrifice of the beast or something like that. But it's a bio. Yeah. Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah. 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 It don't yeah. surprise me. And, 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 and actually, that's how you know right there when they doing that Passover around that time is to the slaughter. You know, he leading the people to the slaughter because they they doing it wrong first and foremost. They're not doing it on. They doing it on the first day when it's supposed to be, you know, uh, on the 14th day. You know, of course, the first day of the month. Yeah. See, I don't feel sorry for me, the man. Our brother Barack came about there. So if we came about that group, they should come about that group. Just show you that the spirit not with those people. Right. That's an IUIC, man. That the spirit of the world is in that, that group. You know, one body. You know, it's a lot of off camps out here, man. That's like Esau's, like his, his biggest weapon is to like persuade you and send you into a, you know, to the, the far seas and the south seas, man. Send you that route. That way you ain't armored up and he can get you. Right. When you armed up with the truth, you got two guys because it's showing right now, man. Like, the truth is like showing itself. They done changed their MOTB doctrine like three, four times. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's that that should be mercy right there. You come up out of her, you know. Then you got uh, man, I use PK is a hot mess, man. I'll say anybody like them. They always wearing uh, dark sunglasses, don't want to show their eyes. Like, you can tell them dudes, them is not men of glory, man, at all. So, the Lord is really showing it, man, with that grace and mercy. And we're ready to receive that power, man. We're ready to, you know, turn the tires on Esau, which is going to happen during Jacob's trouble. So we're embracing Jacob's trouble. That's where the protection and deliverance is going to happen. Also going to lead it to salvation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, got, I, got, I got one more precept that goes into the word that's going to live. That's what I that earlier. This is Matthew 44 and 35. And it says, heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word shall not pass away. All right, and that, that's the preacher that I was going into earlier that the word, this word right here, is going to live forever. All right, it's not, it's never going to die. Okay, and that's why Yahweh, uh, Yahweh shall use uh, the prophet Isaiah, you know, Isaiah 55 and 11. He said, My word will not turn, return unto me void, which is further proving that that word is going to 
Oh, yeah. All right, now. I got one more. It's good. We're going to initiate the last commandment of the kingdom of heaven. So the word is going to go into its fullness when you have a shot, you know, establish that the kingdom of heaven right here on earth. That's why the word will never die. It's going to go into the way. Right now, it's not in the play right now. Esau does not push the laws of commandments. He does everything contrary to that. He does the opposite. That's why that uh that daily prayer where it says, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And the will of the heavenly father is the laws of the thing in scripture. And, uh, and then I got one more. This is uh Revelation 21 and verse 1. All right, this is uh Apostle John, right? And it said, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth was passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city. New Jerusalem coming down from Yahweh about you child out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. All right, and that's talking about the whole nation right there. And then he said, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacles of the most high is with man. All right, it goes back to that, you know, all the little bug out there thinking that women can teach. Okay. I'm gonna read that again. He said, Behold, the tabernacles of the most high is with men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them, and he shall be their power. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there, and there shall be no more, more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. He said the tabernacles are men, that shows that the real churches are men, not a building. Church are the men the Lord is teaching his word. Right. You know, that's the Lord that you know right there. He said, uh, the how shot comes back and, and crack them skies, that's basically just gonna be heaven on earth, man. He's gonna bring the whole dominion come under the house. It's gonna be your house by shot, man. It's gonna be joint air. And that's about to happen. That's what you promise. That's gonna happen at, at the climax of taking the trouble. Which is coming up very soon. And that's why we're so excited. Verse 5 right here. He said, and he sat upon the throne. He sat, and I'm going to read that again. He sat upon the throne, said, Behold, I will make all things new. And he said unto me, right? These words are true and faithful. Ooh, he said, right, these words, they are true and faithful. Why? Because it's all about to come into reality. They're going to walk right now really by the word of our boy. And the word is not going to die because we're going to institute the word once we get the dominion to do it. Right now, we can practice the right test, but we can't institute it, you know, worldwide. But Esau, you know, he got a problem with that. He, he's the wicked, man. He's uh, the son of perdition. He promotes wickedness. So, wickedness and righteousness can't root at the same time. So, what's about to happen is, your house shot's about to, you know, tip, turn the right side up. And then we're going to be able to rule without the devil being in the way. He's going to go on subjection, man. All the heathens are. And everybody going to, you know, follow all laws and commandments. We said, make all things new. Yep, it's going to be a new rulership, man. New management. We're going to get new management. And that's very exciting to the hope we let. Because that's what we desire, man. And that we desire rest. We desire rulership. We desire uh, clean. He's going to make it clean. Right now, our food is not clean. Our water is not clean. The air we breathe is not clean. Everything is defiled. Why? He saw he didn't prove it. When he comes out of power, everything will become clean again. Adams will do what they need to do. Um, the water's going to be able to run where they need to run. They're going to be damming stuff up and draining waters out of places that need to be water at. We're not going to be spraying chemicals in the air, trying to manipulate the weather. We don't do things like that. Plastic all in the ocean. Yeah, plastic everywhere. We're not going to be doing that. We're going to go back to wood. Uh, what's that? Clay? You know, ceramic? You know, natural earth based things. You know, not, let's say, I think he's almost trash. He's most trash, garbage. That, that that's why we prophesied the downfall of Esau, he's a kingdom. Because in order for a righteous kingdom to be, be, be ruled on earth, the first, the wicked kingdom got to get destroyed. And that's why Second Andrew 69 quote, quote, and he said, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of his death. All right? Esau's world has to be destroyed before Jacob can move in his righteous kingdom. And the good thing is, hey, we can tell in this wicked rulership. That is the great thing right there. Like, this nightmare about to be over with. 
y'all strong. So all we got to do is buckle in, brace up. Uh, it's going to be a fight. Kenny's going to come in by a fight. So get ready for the fight. Best way to prep that fight is to get in this truth. You know, get edified, get your mind right. That way you can be at ease when the chaos is hitting. You know, you ain't gonna be like these worldly people bugging out. And you know, Lord, what is part of the hope we lack? What do you like to say? Make sure you're calling election is short. Right. Put their phone on the elect. That's the number one thing you can do right now. Put their arm wrong, you know, man. So with that, man, look, you've been edifying. I want to say, give our praise to the Lord too. The water for tuning in. The water for tuning in.